will will allow me to be live. So you guys, this is Thunder. This is my new life. This is my fur baby husband child. This is Flotty Paint. These are all brown, boring horses. People here in Texas love these quarter horses. I love my little paint, Tennessee Walker quarter mix. Now, I want to talk to you guys about vitamin D because I thought about it. It's overcast today. So you're not really going to get a good, fair amount of vitamin D. Now, you will get a little bit. It's not a complete, complete zero. But, yeah, it's a pretty much a big, low amount of vitamin D. Oh, you want some? Okay, let me give it a treat. What's uh, pink? Thank you. Oh, what? You want a treat? Look how big Thunder is compared to these other horses. He's so big. Look at this little one. Can I, can I have a kiss? Oh my goodness, a kiss. Thank you. You guys, welcome to Dallas. This is Dallas. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dallas, you get famous too, Dallas. Okay. between 11 and 2 and I think right now it's, it's around like 9 30 um, so this is not ideal for vitamin D or UVA UVB uh, to get the vitamin D but it is something a lot of you guys are getting out hey Joachim from Sverige how are you? Jag mår jättebra faktis anyway Några människor vet att jag pratar lite svenska. Så jag försöker i alla fall. Now, um, hi David, what's up? Some of these are girls. What's up? They're all scarred up and stuff. Filled with flies. Not my boo-boo. Okay, so you want to be outside between 11 and 2. And you want to get at least 20 minutes. Now they say 40, but who got time for 40? Okay. So what I've been doing is, you know, my arms have been getting super tan. So I will allow the sun to hit my arms or my legs. Not today though, because we ride through a lot of stickers out here. Um, my, my arms or my legs or my belly or my back, but not my face because I had a pretty bad case of melasma and it's finally going away. And so melasma will bring that out. Otherwise I'd get some sun on my face. Hey, where are you guys going? Hey, come back. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free. What's up, Eric? Oh, dude, what's up, dude? What's up, Dallas? Here you go. Hold on, guys, sorry. Hold on. Living the best life. Yes, I am. Dude, stop. I know. Here we go. Okay. So, and the reason why you want the vitamin ketogenic carnivore or low carb high fat diet is because your immune system gets a little compromised when you first try it and so we need all of our electrolytes we need the transport of calcium into our body we need vitamin d we need magnesium and we need zinc copper now yesterday i went live and we spoke a lot about minerals and how important they are and how people who aren't getting enough magnesium, which that's a whole nother discussion, um, are missing out on a lot of enzymatic responses to the body. I just gotta make sure that my boy doesn't go too far because I took his reins off so he could be more free. Um, and a lot of you guys are not outside. People are like, why aren't I adapting? And I'm like, well, you don't go outside. You don't connect to the circadian rhythm. You don't get enough vitamin D. Your immune system is already junk because of the foods that you've been eating. So that creates a thing called advanced glycation end product, which weakens your immune system. So then when you try keto and you don't have the macros right, the immune system goes down even further. And then yesterday we spoke about building muscle and a lot of people don't even realize if you ain't getting outside, you're not going to build muscle. You need vitamin D as well as insulin sensitivity to build muscle. Does sitting in a car prevent the benefits of sunlight through? I mean, you know, people have done those studies that like this guy, he was like a truck driver and he drove for years and like one side was super tan or no wrinkle and the other one wasn't. I mean, yes, you can get vitamin D if the window is open and things of this nature. But 
even if you're from Sweden or from Nordic countries where it's cold or Massachusetts or freaking Iceland, it's still good to sit by a window or just get a vitamin D3 lamp. Can you become fat adapted and not be in ketosis? No, that's what being in ketosis is, is being fat adapted. That means you're, you're burning body fat for your main source of energy. I gotta watch these two so they don't fight. Oh, no fight, okay, good. That's really good. See, Thunder is such a good horse. There's all these horses. The day I got here, I know I'm digressing, but I'm outside with horses. Um, the family I'm staying with was like, don't let Thunder near these horses. They're all colts, they're all young. And they're all stupid. Hi. <laughs> like, he technically could bite me, I don't know. Some of them do. They bite to get your attention. Um, or they bite you if they're abused. But they seem to be friendly. Does D3 and K2 provide benefits? Of course, of course. And the, the thing is, is that people need to get their vitamin D from the sun, but they also need to get their K2 from liver. Please get your vitamin D and K2, because at the end of the day, this is going to affect the enzymatic responses and your endocrine system, as well as your immune system. <laughs> if you've got these fat soluble vitamins in, as well as your, um, and getting it through the sun. So the best way to get vitamin D is to get it from foods, which are, keto is perfect for that because you're eating very high cholesterol rich foods which have vitamin D. And then you're getting, and if you go outside, that's when you start adapting, of course, with everything else in alignment. Um, just gonna watch. Uh, let's see here. Do you believe with proper health and nutrition protocols you can beat lipidemia and reverse it? Is chicken liver good as cow liver? Um, people say that cow beef liver is better because you've got a bigger animal, like, you know, big animal, big liver, and you're getting more properties from that. Now, I think chicken liver has a little bit more iron, so people who have hemochromatosis would have to be careful uh, by consuming liver. Hey, boo-boo, don't go too far. Here. Um... But I've always heard that beef liver is more nutrient dense than chicken, which makes more sense because chickens are encased with more omega-6 fats rather than omega-3, like cows have more omega-3 fats in them and a lot more uh, rich properties like CoQ10, uh, iron, and things of this nature. Don't forget to like up the stream. We got 20 old, 28 whole people in the house, but I am just, I was on a ride and I got Wi-Fi and I was like, you know what, I'm outside. I know I'm not getting a lot of vitamin D. And I was thinking, well, it's not hot because it, we've got overcast, but, um, which is great, but it sucks because I'm not getting my vitamin D, but because I'm out every single day. I think it's a big part of the reason that when I moved to Texas and then I start to develop like adrenal fatigue from not sleeping, trying to get ready to go here, come here and all this craziness to get here. Um, I really think just being outside, catching the circadian rhythm, but really getting that vitamin D reset my adrenal function because people don't understand how important it is to get vitamin D for all type of immune responses, calcium, bones, uh, and then with magnesium, you're getting a lot of enzymatic responses. Does it matter how we cook it for nutrition versus taste? I mean, obviously, if you had raw liver, it'd probably be the most nutritious, but I'm not going to hate on people who cook it because for some people, the taste is strong. Options besides liver? No, I don't have any besides liver. I mean, you can't beat liver with something else. It's the most nutrient-dense food on the planet, and these days, we need it with all this crap going down. Um, but other things you would not love to... Let me go get my horse. He's like walking away. Let's hope the Wi-Fi doesn't get weird. Boo Boo, come back here. Come here. Can you come here? Thank you. Come back. You eat over here. You're next to the road, even though there's no cars. Okay. Uh, soak liver in milk. Uh, but if you're doing a ketogenic diet, you can't use milk. And a lot of people have a histamine response to milk, so it's not the best solution. I actually soak it in butter. That's how I do. What's up, little one? What's up? What's up, little one? Yeah, butter works. Butter works. 
and I also did a video about rinsing in the water, although it does pull out a lot of the iron. Um, but that's what make it makes it taste so bad. And you know, people are like, oh, why would you rinse it in the water? I'm like, it's not for me. I'm just trying to get people to get down the liver no matter how. But also things like oyster extract will have some of the properties you have in the liver, like uh, selenium, it has more iodine. Uh, it has zinc, copper, like liver has zinc and copper. I think it has more selenium than liver, but liver has vitamin C. Are you gonna be my background? Little one, okay. These two over there. Just make sure they don't fight. Because sometimes when they fight, they'll literally go on their back feet and hoof each other from the top. And sometimes they're just getting hot on this. So Colts, I just gotta make sure things. So they're all just super. Huh? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you see that? He tried to bite, but he's, he wants to treat that, but he didn't bite me, bite me. That's why you always, always have to watch horses you don't know. Now, Thunder, uh, -uh you could stand behind him. As long as you know, if you tell a horse, hey, I'm coming behind you, ah, boo -boo, then they're fine, right? Then they don't kick you. You can lean on them. I can kiss his butt. But if you don't let them know, they can't see who you are. And then they get like, they just have this propensity to want to kick. Okay, talk about ancestral, ancestral liver. Um, it's not as good as, it's desiccated, it's freeze-dried. Get his hair out of his eyes. He's got a mask on because there's a lot of gnats out. And Thunder had cancer and he had eye surgery. So I have to make sure that the gnats don't get in his eye. By the way, that's what this is. It's a fly mask and it's like a sun guard eye. Um, I know, oh, okay. you want to make out with me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're so Can you go side? Side? Thunder. Hey, Thunder. Side? 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 I know you want to. Come on, side. Oh, there you go, side. Oh. Come on. Um, go eat the grass, boop boop. This is how it is. Anytime I'm on my phone, he doesn't like it. He should be eating the grass down there. Uh, Ancestral liver is freeze-dried already right there. You're going to take down some of the quality of the, of the um, liver. And then, um, uh, you know, sometimes this stuff has been, it's from New Zealand. It's been sitting on a boat, oops, in a warehouse. So I don't know. You know, a lot of people are getting histamine responses. Just got to make sure. They all say hello to each other. So that's a bigger horse, but Thunder's bigger. But Thunder's a pacifist. He doesn't like to fight. Bubba, go back. All right, let's go back. Go back. Dallas, what's wrong with you? Your foot. Uh oh, something's wrong with Dallas's foot. So I gotta go address that. Look at his dude. He's putting his foot up. So he might have a spur there. Maybe one of these horses stepped on his feet. Did you get stepped on? These are herding animals, but Dallas doesn't realize he's not invincible. So real liver is always going to be better than desiccated. You won't have the histamine response because when it's sitting in a warehouse for so long, often you're getting bacteria that's growing on it, plus the properties that are all in it, all those things that I mentioned with the minerals and the vitamins are a lot less, and then you get more bacteria. But if you really just got nothing, 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 then yes, I mean, it's better than nothing. Yes, I take immaculate care of thunder. Um, I've never met anybody who's as crazy as I am. I'm always trimming his feet because he's barefoot. So if you see thunder's feet look really beautiful feet, and this hasn't been trimmed in a couple weeks. And if look at these horses' feet, you guys. Look how bad these feet are. Look at that. And I'll get you, Dallas. I'll help you. Look how bad these feet are. horses are going to be sold for a lot of money. They're being trained and their feet are horrendous. You got to have good feet and teeth. It's just it's the same as human beings. And people don't get that. People who own horses who see really ugly, yellow, nasty teeth and they're being bent because they're eating the wrong food or they're 
growing too long or their gut wall is destroyed it, no i mean they're not if you uh the horses are not terribly expensive if you take care of them now when i got thunder i took on somebody else's problem because they kept him out in the sun and he's got pink on this side of his face and so this pink side here developed cancer and now when i once i got him he got his cancer surgery he survived his cancer and now that I take care of him and give him the right food and take care of his feet and teeth and groom him and take care of him and put a fly mask on him so gnats don't get in his eyes. Then no, he's, I, I don't have to call a vet out because he's fine, he's really, really healthy. His poop is nice and perfect little balls and it's not, not mushy and he doesn't fart like the other horses do. Horses will see those horse videos on Instagram or TikTok. I don't watch them, people share them with me because I, I will not watch TikTok. But, um, they're always farting and people are laughing. I'm like, that really bad guts, the same as humans. So these feet are a really big indication of this horse's health. Look at those ugly feet. Look at that. Look at Thunder's feet. Look at that. And these are not freshly trimmed feet. I ride him. He's healthy. I love it. Okay. I definitely think I should go soon. Let me see what else we got here. Best way to get rid of my sugar cravings um i would say that don't intermittent fast okay because that's going to offset your adrenal hypothalamus adrenal function and make your blood sugar destabilize and you're going to crave more and serotonin is going to drop and then you're going to want to crave sugar you might have a candida overgrowth people tend to crave sugar when they have a candida overgrowth so a ketogenic diet is great if you're doing low carb high fat unfortunately you're not going to have as much of that candida overgrowth but you still you're still going to have it Keto will help, and don't listen to anybody who says that ketones make your your uh, grow, because that is a lie. Um, optimal blood sugars, I said expressed on yesterday's live stream, so don't forget to check out that, which is between 70 and 83 millimolars per deciliter. Now, if you're dealing with European, not millimolars, milligrams per deciliter, if you're dealing with, sometimes when you talk live, you say things all backwards, people are like, you said this, and I'll be like, oh, I did. Um, when, uh, for European millimolar me measurements, millimoles, it's, uh, uh, 4.5 to about, no, it's 4.4, maybe even a 4.3 to a 4.6 max for your blood sugar. Uh, what are your thoughts on chia seeds? Garbage, uh, complete anti-nutrients, phytates, rob you of minerals. No, do not. Seeds are baby plants, and they got some angry stuff in them. I only listen to you. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Pink Jeep. <laughs> I thought about getting a Jeep, but instead I got another car. Uh, don't forget to like up the stream, guys. We got uh, some people here in the house, and I don't check who's liking. It just brings more people to my channel. And this is actually really nice, standing here with the horses. I just should have brought my water. Um... And I got off under, we were riding, got off of him to say hello to the other horses. I was like, oh my God, I have a signal. I'll go live. Hemp seeds are a little bit better, but why seeds, you guys? Be careful on the hemp milk and the hemp seeds and the hemp this and the hemp that. Um, probably the best nuts, seeds would be maybe sunflower seeds, but the oils are not good and some sunflower oils. Um, anything that has a lot of fat in them is going to be good. Um, like I said, they're more of an omega-6, which is we don't want too much omega-6 in our diet ratios between uh, poly and saturates. And then, because I mean poly is omega-6. And then um, uh, 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 macadamia nuts are mono, high in mono and saturated fat. And the more fat in that nut, the less phytic acid, which robs you of minerals. not it's okay but it's not okay it means it's better than nothing so that's what I said desiccated uh, capsules are better than nothing and I'm even sponsored by ancestral supplements which as you can see I haven't been promoting too much lately uh, best way to get rid of sugar okay I've read that horses are, 
are cheap in comparison to how much it takes to take care of them. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, their food, if you give them the right hay, I give them alfalfa and Timothy, you know, give them some beet pulp. He's good. Let's see here. I thought I saw blood on the bottom of the... I'm, I'm going to check it out. He's sitting here waiting. Uh, we're not too far away, so if I got to put him on Thunder and ride him back, I will. Just wait. That he's Yeah, I'm just giving him a minute to... Because you know when you first get stepped on, it hurts. So I'm giving him a minute to see how bad it is. And then I'm going to help him back. Oh, thank you, B. Martin, for Thunder. All right. I appreciate it. Who's walking away? I got to go get him. Stay there, Dallas. Thunder? As long as he stays in. Thunder's really... You hear that? But Thunder doesn't do that. He he rarely squeals. They squeal when they're feeding each other. And then you have to make sure that nobody's about to jump over the fence. Where are you going, boo-boo? Um, the place I'm staying, they always sometimes the gate's open. Thunder will be eating near the gate, and he won't leave the gate. And, uh, neighbors will be like, your horse is about to get out. I'm like, no. The other ones... They have to be locked up because if the gates open, they will run out, but I'm digressing. Let's see. Thank you. Yes. For my boo-boo, my fur baby husband child. What's up? He's like, this is, I'm ready to go. He's getting bored. He actually gets bored sometimes if he just is grazing. I don't feel hungry when I'm eating fat because I get, because I get less calories and it starts to hurt. Okay. So... A lot of people who aren't hungry when they're eating fat, there's a couple reasons you might have a gallbladder problem because you're not digesting it. And when you're not digesting your fats properly, you might feel like that. Just even a little will blunt the, the desire to eat more if you're not digesting it. And that's probably, or there's a histamine to the type of fat you're consuming. But if you're not hungry in fat, because often fat is the remedy for hunger, for people who are like, well, what do I do eat when I'm hungry? And I'm all just go and eat a, a heaping tablespoon of fat you will feel like fine and keep going amongst your day if you do that if you have regular periods you're not in ketosis this is where my channel really matters on how to do this thing right yesterday i did a live and bart k was like why do you need to know if you're what it's like to be in ketosis i'm like because women have these problems with their periods being gone and their hair hair falling out <laughs> that's the problem That's it. I'm 20 minutes here on the road. I'm starting to get concerned about Dallas. I'm, I think I'm going to have to pick him up and take him back to the house, put him on thunder, and uh, see what's wrong with his hoof. See if it, because out here in Texas, the, only, the one thing I do not like is like right now it is scrumptious weather. It is scrumptious. It is really nice and breezy. As you guys can see, you probably don't hear me well. It's the dang monsters in this grass. So cute. Everybody waves here. Everybody waves. In California, they're like... Um, but I know when the, when the wind picks up, you guys can't hear me very well. So this is a good segue to leave. But if you guys, I have an open calendar. It should be open. Go to stephanieperson.com. I didn't know because I've been so busy organizing everything. I didn't know my calendar had a, like had been full booked. And to have more openings, I actually have to physically go into the system and open up more dates. So for those who are confused, who need help with all those issues, uh, after doing this for so many years, you guys look. Look at people who came and went. Your girl is still here. I didn't jump from diet to diet. I'm still pushing keto. I tried carnivore for almost a year and realized it's not safe. Sorry. And uh, yeah, that's just the problem. People develop electrolyte issues. People are developing kidney issues. People are developing hypoglycemia because they're not keto adapting. And people are developing uh, uric acid issues, uh, which is the kidney issues. And um, yeah, and oh, thyroid issues.
yeah sorry linda g yeah carnivore is good for like a short-term elimination kind of like a gaps protocol and then slowly start to reintroduce your carbohydrates back in the form of plants but uh, for the prebiotic fiber for the potassium and also for uh, i just gotta make sure everything's safe um yeah, he's safe um you know thunder has a saddle on so if something happens you get just caught I know, Linda, you need to catch up with my stuff. I stopped promoting. Um, I just uh, did an, a pre-interview with Carnivore Yogi on why she's not strict carnivore anymore. She only uses it to kind of, um, you know, kind of get rid of a lot of things, inflammatory reactions to things if there's an inflammatory buildup from plants because plants are toxic in the wrong context. In the right context, Dallas is looking better. Thank God. Um, in the right context, like prebiotic fiber, uh, for some reason it helps with diamine oxidase production. And so when people drop it out and just have a ton of meat, their uh, diamine oxidase, which is an enzyme designed to break down histamines, it goes down. So when people try to eat uh, plants again, a lot of them start to develop a histamine response that they didn't have before that, which is quite interesting. Because a lot of people are doing carnivore for weight loss, which is like, again, dumb because that means a lot of protein and not enough fat and all that's going to do is make you rebound and mess your thyroid up and then make you gain a lot of weight down the road because a lot of these men who talk don't know about women's bodies they just don't know they just don't trust we know my ass my ass is you know i'm up there i'm almost at it in my mid 50s so to keep your stuff tight and right you can't just follow the trends guys you got to use your critical thinking what makes sense now i get my knowledge from you guys i have so many people enter my live streams going i worked with staff five years ago she was right blah 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 because if you talk to people you will actually start to see the red thread line between us all that's so similar don't be frustrated linda it's not hard it's just when you look at something or guru and they make it sound so easy like oh intermittent fast you're gonna experience autophagy and then i ask people what it is and they don't know what the fuck it is i don't know something about cleaning up the cells and i'm like well how do you feel i feel terrible i'm like okay well these people aren't considering the fact that we live in the modern time we already have hypoglycemia reactive hypoglycemia blood sugar imbalances and it's not helping uh, with diverticulitis is keto okay yes but with diverticulitis like doctors told me to eat greasy food no veggies um there's a problem yeah diverticulitis greasy food well that would be keto keto you can eat vegetables it's how they're prepared how much you consume um i just got to make sure both of these fur babies are okay and i, I didn't put a breast collar in thunder so his saddle will keep moving back when i'm not on him uh, i need to join your page yes oh yeah I have a course page, you guys. It's $15 a month. You just go to stephanieperson.com, and there I can actually talk to you guys more individually. I have Ask Steph Question Day plus Consultation Follow-Up Day, and then I have course lessons where I'm writing things forever, I'm presenting them to you, and then like what I'm just discussing now about vitamin D or about uh, diamine oxidase, uh, the lack of production from diamine oxidase from your digestive tract to take down histamine and that's uh stephanie person.com saturdays i do uh thunder you stay here you stay thunder stay i'm just saying that so he knows that he shouldn't go any further i mean he's not walking anywhere so <laughs> uh yeah so it's a good page to join um it's really cheap you, if you just want to do one month then you just sign up and then cancel because it's a subscription base and uh, but it's really good it's really really good all right, guys, I'm like, Dallas, don't you get stepped on again. Um, these are horses he doesn't know, so I just want to make sure he's okay. He's not limping as bad anymore, you guys can see. Uh, he's a tough, that dog is tough as frack. I don't know a tougher dog than him. Dallas, they're called blue healers because they nip at the heels of, of uh, livestock but they really shouldn't do it to horses because they can get kicked. Dallas, and he's become a, he leaves Thunder, he loves Thunder. He sleeps with Thunder, he has to be next to Thunder, but the other horses, he his instincts kick, kick in. 
Uh, thank you everyone for, okay, so the diverticulitis, like I said, is small amounts of vegetables. Cook them, use a pressure cooker. Uh, cook them very well in, in the beginning. Dallas! So I'm gonna come back over to them, get them. Uh, these beautiful horses, although they're not as beautiful as my paint, which is when they're splotchy colored, because I don't like anything that's average. Thank you everyone for joining my live stream. My calendar is open for consultations. I uh, have my course page, everything's through stephanieperson.com. Now I know he wants to go home. Uh-uh, no you don't. Get your butt here. I see you. Come here, come on. You're not going home yet. Come back here, silly. You know better. Come here. He's like, but, but, see, they just want to be home. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thunder's very special, you guys. I mean, he's the only reason why I'm here. If I didn't have Thunder, I would never be in Texas. Well, no, I would be in Texas, because, but I wouldn't be in this part of Texas. That's for dang sure. I'd be probably up on the top of the hill country where it's not so much humidity, but today it's okay. Um, if you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com or you can join my course page through stephanieperson.com. You can also get free content right here. Give me suggestions in the comments below on what you'd like me to talk more about because I'm a plethora of information from doing this for so many years and I ain't selling you a bunch of BS. Yeah, the, I thought of Hill Country or Alpine, Texas, because it's like California um, humidity level in Alpine, Texas. So I might go there, but it's kind of nobody. Nobody's there. <laughs> it's a small area, but that might be the place I might end up. Um, this is my fur baby. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's got people are like he's a Tennessee Walker. He's got a big butt for a Tennessee Walker. He's got a big booty. He's got a nice, and he's got a he's bigger than chest. A lot of Tennessee Walkers are tall and narrow. So people think, although he's a registered walker, everybody's like he's mixed with paint and maybe quarters, so we don't know. But those are all quarters back there, and everybody loves quarter horses in Texas, but I find them to be, they look boring to me. Beautiful, bo beautiful horse bodies, but boring. Uh, yes, he's a beautiful paint, and he's got one really crystal blue eye, if you guys can see through this Batman mask. You see that crystal blue, blue eye, and then he's got a brown eye. All right, um, I am back. It has been really a long haul to move here. This place is not my final destination. I will be moving on. You guys will find out more. I also want to do lifestyle blogs, which I've never had any time for, and because I lived in Hollywood, and I lived in Hollywood, and then I moved here. Like, what was I thinking? Um, I just wanted to change. Dictates my my vibe for the day. Good idea to do lifestyle vlogs. Yeah, I, I really do because I'm gonna make. Uh, I haven't. I'm looking for a house. I haven't. I haven't even looked yet. I'm looking for the market to drop. But I just got. You'll see a surprise, and I'm gonna do a DIY makeover of it. And I just want you guys to see my lifestyle. I get bored just talking about keto. Why not incorporate keto or low carb or carnivore? into although i'm not doing low carb but for you guys or for the people that i'm around and doing food blogs with other people for them uh, what it's like to make a low carb high fat meal or what it's like to do a carnivore meal for to, to get that freaking histamine get your skin cleared up get the the all of the sinus infections and all of the headaches and all this down and then you want to microdose back some plants and the point isn't to eat a bunch of plants. I'm not a pro plant. You gotta eat plants. Like, you know, you're a vegan, no. But it, they have their place in, in our world as omnivores, okay? And I'm gonna get a carnivore, omnivore, omnivores. Um, we can eat meat, but things start to happen. People develop either loose stool, constipation, electrolyte, severe electrolyte issues, because you're not gonna get all your sodium and potassium from meat because we have weak gut walls and we're not absorbing it. The animals aren't eating it in the in the soil as much. So, love, uh, love you, Steph. Keep going. I feel so much better. The oxbell is like yes. So a lot of people have gallbladder issue. 
you can try ox bile, tubica, taurine, glycine, fix the liver with some milk thistle for the short term, and, and uh, get some damn sleep because that's what it's all about. Just get bored. All right. Thank you, everyone. And <laughs> look at that big eye. Look at that big eye. We're going to do some lifestyle vlogs. I'm going to like edit and put stupid music in, but like cool music, stupid music. And just make it more like a little cinematography of my life. I look at other people and I'm just like, I'm so inspired by them. There's a couple of people I follow online where they were traveling around the uh, US and in, in vans and all this kind of stuff. And that just was like, you know, I ain't about to get on planes international right now anyway. Sorry. I ain't. Um, so why not travel around the US? And also I want to do a couple day ride uh, across the west with thunder because walkers are really great for long, long trips. Yes. Bye Dallas. Bye thunder and the rest of the horses. And uh, I'm out guys. Yeah, I just got to keep reminding everyone that my calendar is open and that you can sign up for my course page. Or you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, or my Facebook, which is Stephanie the Business, as in the body business person. I've got some energy, energy, energy. At almost 54. <laughs> Dallas, see, Dallas protects Thunder. He's like, don't mess with my boy. He does this with the other horses on the property we live. He is always defending Thunder. That's his, he's a medicine hat. And if you guys don't know what a medicine hat is, Thunder is a legit medicine hat. Yep, he's got the shield. He's got the delineated outline and at least one blue eye. He's a paint. All right, guys, and I'm out. Then medicine hats are mystical, very, very important horses. Bye, guys. Bye.